Hello, everybody. Welcome back to the Hammerheads, Houston. Yeah, we uh, don't have a problem, believe it or not. Uh, we are in the first round of the Stanley Cup playoffs. I'm going to show our lines and I'll show Vancouver's. So our team looks like this first line is stacked. We've got Barzell, Zabenejad, and Raymond, who doesn't have any abilities or anything. Kind of unfortunate, but yeah, we got Olafson, Newhook, and Boss on our second line. Then Brown, Thomas, Lundestrom, Jones, McLeod, Bjorkstrand. Okay. On defense, we've got Miro and Bouchard with a plus one. Kavanov and Sergachev with a plus two. And then Rickard and Addison with a zero on the final pair. And then in net, we have Teal at 87 overall listed as an elite goaltender. A 926 save percentage. Not sure when that's from. 12 games played. He only played 12 games this year? No, he played a lot. And he had a 909, so I have no idea what those are from. Can they be from the... They can't be from the playoffs. We're just starting. Anyway, Di Pietro right here. Yeah, he doesn't really seem to do well for us. He is listed as a starting goaltender, but he's just not getting the job done. So that's our team. Let's go ahead and view lines now instead of edit. Because we can't view our own lines, but we can view other teams' lines. So we've got uh, Kane, Pedersen, and Besser. All right, then they got Atkinson, Kopitar, and Sle Slavkovsky. Slavkovsky, maybe. Second line forward, he's got an X-Factor, three abilities. It's pretty good. Oh, my word. 87 overall, Andrew Kopp on the third line. That is criminal. I mean, we kind of been doing... Well, he never got that high. We got 84s on the third line, but uh, Hoaglander's there as well. So, yeah, pretty weird team here, honestly. But... It is good. It is good. Then they got Hughes and Pionk. Then they got Sward and Gardner, Ekman Larson, and Wyatt. That's the team right there. Uh, I think we have a better team. I think we have a better team. Jari didn't do so hot. Corpusalo. Okay, well, anyway. I have no idea what those stats are from. Maybe it's from last year's playoffs or something. Unless I did do a round already and forgot, but pretty sure didn't do that. Yeah, no, we haven't started yet. Okay, so Vancouver finished with 42 wins. We finished with 50. Let's see how things go here. Let's sim up to the first game and get ready to rumble. Here we go. All right, first period of the first game. That's a good start. McLeod puts one in on Jari, and we are up. Here we go again. 3-2. Not the best second period, but we're still up by one, so I'll take it. Oh, my word. Look how many shots they have. And look how many shots we have. Lundestrom gonna bear... Okay, let's go, boys. Getting some depth points here. Great stuff. Yeah, that is clutch. Amazing performance. And our goalie is playing out of his mind right now, too. It's outrageous. 42 shots and only two goals against. That's gotta be first star, right? It has to be. Yeah, Teal, you legend. 952 save percentage. 40 stops on the night. Barzell, three points. And Jones got two. Great first game from the Hammerheads. That's how we want to start right there. Let's hop into game two now. We do want to get more shots, though. We can't rely on Teal that much. You know, he stole one for us, but come on now. 1-1 one, one after one. That's all right. And 2-1 two, after two. Kavanov as well. Let's go. All right, we're up by one. Heading into three. Gave the Canucks a power play there. Now, this time, we are out shooting them big time. Wow, 34-20 to 20 are the shots. Halfway through the third period. No goals yet in this one. Five minutes to go. Shots are staying about as far as they were before. And Barzell and Sergachev going to score there to finish off the game 4-1. What a good game for the Hammerheads once more. Teal again with a 958. And then we got Kavanov with two points. First star and Sergachev with two points as well. They are actually a defensive pairing. So yeah, they're the second pairing there. With the plus two chemistry. So we're up 2 nothing right now. We're heading to Vancouver. Let's hope that we can keep it up. Even in the away barn. Alright, that's not a good first period. Besser scores two. And second. Oh my word. Okay. Teal kind of getting lit up here. But we kind of brought it back a little bit. We are one goal down now. Heading into the third. Shots are as close as they have been yet in this series. We are putting up quite a few here to start the third period. Another power play for the Canucks, not able to capitalize. Power play for the Hammerheads, and Raymond will bury one. 
Tying it up at 4-4. And we are down to the final minutes of the third period. Our first overtime of the series. How will this one go? Shots are way up there. But, I mean, the score is also way up there. So it's not like the goalies really played outstanding. But they're definitely bringing it back together. Barzell again. Overtime goal. 5-4 for the Hammerheads. Yeah, that is a huge game. Raymond, two goals and an apple. And then Besser and Kane both getting two goals. They will be the second and third star, respectively. But we are all over the Canucks right now. It is 3-0 in this series. Our, oops, I'm not playing the game. I'll tell you that for free. Yeah, look at that. Unreal. What are our overalls? Just out of curiosity. 97, 88, and 88 to 93. Okay, I don't know how to check it otherwise. So let's... 93-87, and one more time. There's probably a much better way to do this. And 83, okay. Yeah, we are a very good team, but I am going to back out. And we are going to try to bring out the brooms in Vancouver. First period. Okay, that's, that's all right. Second. Oh, down by one. Heading into three. Power play for the Canucks to start off the third again. That seemed like a pretty long one as well, but we managed to kill it off once more. Another power play. What are we doing out there? Kane gets a goal on that power play. They do have 35 shots right now, so Teal definitely playing well. Another goal, so it looks like the... Oh, my word. The brooms have been put away. There you have it. A 4 nothing victory. For the Vancouver Canucks, Jari with a 28-save shutout, Mason Appleton with a goal, and Kopitar with two hamburger helpers. All right, we're still definitely in the driver's seat here, though. Sim up to this game. Yeah, Bjorkstrand, what are you doing out there? Has gained <laughs> morale for ice time. Dude, you're a goalie. Anyway, first, that's great. We're up by one, heading into two. Hmm, what just happened? We're up by two, heading into three, but... What an awful sh goaltender duel. I can't even speak. What an awful goaltending performance as a whole in that second period. And another goal. Robert Thomas. Fire me up. 7-4. We only... Oh, my. What is happening? Why is Jari still in the net? That is my question. Are they just letting him out there to, like, you know what? Screw you. You're going to let in goals. We're going to leave you out to suffer. Is that what's happening? Robert Thomas with two apiece. Boss with a hat trick. And Connor Brown with one and two. So, the Houston Hammerheads move on quite easily to round number two. Okay, AHL seems to be doing well as well as they are on to round number two. And we have the Colorado Avalanche. They went four and two in their first series. And in the season, they had 48 wins. So, this is definitely going to be a little bit more competitive. Let's have a look at... Our team stats after that round. And player stats. Yep. Here we go. Barzell, seven points in five games. Raymond with six. Brown with six. Boss has five points. Who's taking all the penalties? Boss has 14 minutes. And Robert Thomas has 10. We got McLeod with 12. Okay. So it seems to be like a few people. He does have 77 discipline. What's bosses? It's got to be low. He has 86. What are you doing, Elliot? Elliot Moose is on the loose, apparently. You can't contain this guy. In terms of goaltenders, uh, Teal had a pretty solid performance in some of the games and lackluster in others, but he still has a 9-12 overall with a 291 and a record of 4-1, no shutouts in that first round. Very solid. Okay. Great job, Esteban. You did good. Is it Esteban, Esteban? I don't know, because I know... Um, someone from work whose name is spelled the same way and it's Esteban, so I'm not really sure, but I guess it could be either or. Um, yeah, that's it. So, round one, done. Under our belt, we actually finished with a strong 7-3-0-2, which looks nice down there, you know what I'm saying, not a big deal. We got Colorado in the conference semifinals coming up next. I'll see you guys then.